when we go to the field, we want to set up for auto, what, what's the first thing we do? We don't really want to rely on the APIs to figure out exactly which side of the field we're on, as well as we also do need to be able to select which auto we're going to be using. Okay. Um, so we have this switch that allows us to select the routine. So it's a rotary switch. Right now we have four different ones. So if you see these bars, Yep. so that's if you're on one. First, first of all, zero is just no auto. You don't want to do auto. Then one will do the first routine. That will do the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. What you do is you select that, and then on top of it, you select which side you're on, and the colors show you which side you're on. So okay. if we have red over here. Yep. So we'll go ahead and put it to red, and we want to do... Red one? Number one, yes. Okay. So the upper LEDs are an indicator. So now that we have April tags and we have these cameras, we can um, estimate our position on the field. The bottom lights basically tell you if your rotation is right. The top lights, the top three show you if your position is right. Okay, so, so let's, uh, let's carry this guy over to put it in our starting position. So when it comes over... So what are the lights that are here telling us right now? Okay, so first of all, the bottom set of lights on each one is telling you that the rotation is correct. Okay, so, so rotate it away. So yeah. So now, okay. the vision detects that it's off. So it's too far to the right, so the blue LEDs tell you that you need to rotate it to the left. That's correct. So okay. then we can also go back. Okay, now let's overshoot it. Again. Yeah, let's go the other way. Okay. Now it's red. Now it's red, so now you have to rotate to the right. Okay, so now the angle is correct, yep. and what do the upper uh, lights tell you? So I see that on this side we have upper lights are red, and then on this side there aren't any. Okay, so what that means is the red, uh, the red lights show you which direction you need to move the robot into. Okay. So in this case, we have two on here, and none over there. Yep. So that would mean we go this way. Okay. So we lift it up, and now it's green. Okay, now it's green, so it's this way, way far enough. And is it green all the way around? Yep, it's green over there. So okay. The robot's telling us you're ready to go for auto. Okay, the and then if it, uh, like if it's too close, what happens? Um, so Okay, so it's too close, so the, the back lights up and says you need to move backwards. Yep. And right now it's backwards and to the left there, okay. So now it says we need to go this way more. Now, okay. Now the rotation is Okay, now we're all green. So now we're in our starting position, or close enough. Yeah. And then when it runs, our camera uses the vision tags to let us go ahead and place it on the peg. Nice. We just uh, decided we we're going to test out a blue auto so we swapped all the April tags to make it blue and then we're gonna move the robot over to the other side of the field alright so we have good angle ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. a little bit more forward There we go. Okay, so it has to go towards the wall a little bit more. Okay, all greens. So that's a good starting position for this Thomas routine. All right, let's give it a shot. Three, two, one, go. Uh oh. <laughs> we do need a cone. <laughs> now we got to reposition it now that we got the cone in. Okay, what do we think? A little bit closer to the wall. We have all green? Yes. Okay.